Tonight, a lot of well-known Armenians have gathered at Moscow Theatre to be the first ones to watch a documentary about Armenia made by a true patriot, an amazing woman and a strong believer, Ms. Rita Lepedjan. On October 12th, in the Blue Hall of Moscow Theatre, a documentary called Journey Through Armenia was presented to the Armenian audience. The producer of the movie is Ms. Rita Lepedjan from Australia. She's a strong believer and a true patriot, an Australian of Armenian origin. Good evening, Ms. Lepejan, and here is the night that you have been waiting for almost eight months. How do you feel? I feel really excited, and I'm happy that I'll be sharing with some of my friends and the people that took part in this documentary. Uh, so we're launching it today in Yerevan, and uh, it is really exciting, like with my son as well. I'm very happy. And I want you to talk about a little bit about how this idea occurred to you, like how did it came to your mind? Um, I always think what I can do, in, not just in documentaries, but what I can do as a service to my community, like in Australia and in the final years in Armenia. And there's a lot of people with creative ideas and creativity. So I wanted to do something that we didn't have in Australia that could be done here. We have a lot of videos that come from overseas and video clips about Armenia and other countries, but nothing that an Australian has flown over to Armenia and filmed a special documentary to be shown on Australian television. So after thinking, and I thought that would be the best thing I can do, it took me months until I came up with it, so I'm hoping that it would be a great success. And who were the people who believed you, who supported you, and who were next to you all this time? Definitely my family. My son, who's been here for most of the time during the filming, and now he's back to do the launch. My daughter, my family, my um, um, Nairi and Eric, my son-in-law, and um, my friends, close friends. And over here, mainly, uh, I didn't know that it was going to happen until I was here because I was waiting for our reporter to have time to come and do it. So uh, I found out three weeks before that he is coming, so we had to organize everything within that three weeks. When I say everything, the idea was there, the concept was there, the preparation was there. We just had to um, organize the physical part of it, like the photography, the helpers, the interpreters, uh, historians, the information. So we did it. We did it in three weeks and we started filming. What was the biggest obstacle that you faced and how did you overcome it? You know, the, I don't think there's big obstacles. There's little difficulties when you are in a different country. I feel this is my home, but then there are things that is done differently to what I am used to in Australia. But I'm learning very fast and uh, I accept that. So actual difficulty was just to communicate and find the right people, but I actually had uh, big support here. Again, um, with my son being next to me, with Ara Gevorkian, with our bishop, Vartan Navasa, Navasartian, who was in Australia for three years. So he helped me with uh, getting through easily through the churches in Armenia and Ara Gevorkian with everything else. He was, my son was my right hand, I say he was my left hand, yes. This was one of your dreams that came true. And what do you expect now that the movie is ready already? Um, well, I expect a lot of Australian tourists to visit Australia, uh, here, Yerevan, mm -hmm. Armenia. That was one of my objectives, actually, to introduce Armenia to the Australians. I mean the Australians, Australians, not the Armenian Australians already know. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, the f how we say the icing on the cake. So that would be the final thing. And that's what the objection was, to introduce Armenia to the, our fellow Australians. Do you have already another beautiful dreams? I like to continue and introduce Armenia again in Australia and other places. But at the moment, um, I want to do some charity work here in Armenia. And then I have to go back home and then and I can't wait to come back and do other things. The film is directed by her son, Arman Lepejan. The documentary about Armenia consists of five parts and will be aired on Australian national television. 
it was really nice to take part in this movie uh, because, as you could see, there were a lot of different uh, famous persons, Armenians, from different spheres. All are very famous, minimum in our country, but most are world famous persons. And what was good that uh, Miss Rita made them all come together in this one movie and uh, to show it all over the world. We have to appreciate that one thing in Rita, what she did for Armenia, what she did for our culture. As a host for this documentary, a special guest was invited. George Donigan is one of the most popular radio and television hosts in Australia of Greek Armenian origin. We've arrived at Hobbida, and this is the scene of where Gregory the Illuminator, or Grigor Musavorich, was kept in a dungeon for 13 years. His crime? He was a Christian. The music used in documentaries composed by a well-known Armenian composer, Ara Gevorkan. The director of the crew and the chief cameraman of the film is Arthur Garayan. As the creative members of the film point out, they wanted to create a film that not only would introduce Armenia with its magnificent beauty and centuries-old history, but to be easily understandable for the Australian audience, to promote the development of the tourist flow from Australia to Armenia, the first Christian country. At the premiere of the documentary, the producer Miss Rita Lepedjan invited her friends, diplomatic and public figures living in Armenia. The Lepedjan's plans and projects for Armenia will be continued. <laughs>